It is often uh, necessary to characterize a statistical behavior, a statistic behavior of uh, a random variable, which is a function or a transformation of another random variable. So here we have a random variable x, and then we have a function g, okay, and then uh, you have another uh, output y. So obviously this is your sample space L, it is producing a random uh, experimental output goes to this first function, which is a random variable. This is a second function, which is a function of a function. And then y is equal to y of c is equal to g of x of c. So this is the basic definition. Um, and uh, the first step, we want to determine uh, the, 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 the distribution of uh, y. The first step always is to determine what type of random variable is y. If we make a mistake in that, it's likely that we won't get a good solution. So what type of random variable is a function of a random variable in general? Uh, so if x is a discrete type random variable, so if like uh, if this is x and this is x of c, if this x of c take countable um, number of uh, values, or it is obvious that if you give it to any other function, uh, okay, the, the outcome y of c also will be, because you ultimately you map these to g of u1, these to g of u2, etc. So the cardinal number, the number of elements here, is always more than these because sometimes two of these may possibly be mapped to one or at least so what could i say is that the the, the number of elements in u1 to u etc is always bigger than or equal to number of elements of g, g u1 etc so this notation means cardinal number so therefore i conclude that uh, y must also be a discrete type random variable. So in that case, it is easier to characterize probability mass function of y, okay? So if x is a discrete type random variable, you don't try to find a PDF and so on because they are more complex to work with. So obviously y takes values from this set and uh, you can go right there. So some of these GUK may repeat. For instance, if these two guys are mapped into a single point, uh, then then um, could have less. And obviously, uh, the property mass function of VJ is equal to this guy. It means that property that Y equal to VJ. So uh, you have to see uh, the set of this solution of this one and add the property mass function. So what happens is that this is uh, X axis. And then you have u1, u2, u3, etc. At this point, you have p1. Here you have a mass of p2, etc. Now these points are mapped to uh, y-axis. So this is this is v1, this is v2, uh, v3, etc. Sometimes, so if this is mapped here, so this property mass will be transferred here. Now if two points are mapped here these two properties shall be added. So this means um, um, find all solutions of, of uh, GUI equal to VJ. So you find all the UIs which satisfy this one and then put their masses together in order to find the mass at point VJ. So if x is a continuous type random variable, we cannot use this one, but we can develop something similar and so on. So then in that case, if it is continuous type, it depends on the function g. For instance, if g is a quantizer, if a function like that, then y still becomes a discrete type random variable. For instance, an analog to digital converter, the output it takes values from um, finite countable number of values. So therefore, the output of uh, analog to digital converter is a discrete type. The input can be a uh, continuous type. 
So, but in general, if, if, if uh, X is continuous type and if G is also uh, differentiable and continuous, then, then the output is a continuous type random variable. So we will uh, have examples for these cases, or sometimes the output can be even mixed type, you know. 